I knew you'd come here first when you returned from your journey. Brother. Are you still worried about the Rune Warriors? Don't you sometimes ask yourself who they were and where they are now? Hmm. The end of the circle also broke the Rune magic. The age of the Rune has passed for good. Wherever they are now, they're at peace. But the two of us will be in big trouble with Thora if we're late for the celebration. Let's go and pick up Leah at her house. Welcome to the Spellforce 2 Shadow Wars tutorial. Here you will learn the basic handling of the game. In case you would like to reread parts of the introduction or other messages regarding the game, please see the log. In the center of the screen, you can see your in-game character, the avatar that represents you in the game. Select him or her with the left mouse button. Selected characters are marked by a colored circle around them. Your own characters have green circles. Friendly or neutral NPCs have blue ones, and enemy characters are shown in red circles. On the bottom left, you see the selection window. Place your mouse over it to get more information on the currently selected characters. You can move the viewing area to have a look around the world. Either use a direction of buttons on your keyboard, or just move the mouse pointer to the edge of the screen. Or you can keep the right mouse button pressed while moving the mouse. Black areas are still undiscovered. These parts of the map will only become visible once you've sent your own units there. The mini-map in the right bottom corner also shows the already explored area of the map you are currently on. Green dots on the mini-map represent your own units and buildings. The blue dots stand for friendly and neutral units and buildings. And the red ones represent the enemies. You can select the avatar anytime just by left-clicking the avatar portrait in the upper left corner. A right-click centers the viewing area on him or her. Try it. Center the viewing area on the avatar by right-clicking on his or her portrait in the left upper corner. Good. You can move the viewing area around and also change the distance from the ground. To do this, either use the mouse wheel or the page up and page down buttons of your keyboard. Click on the mouse wheel until the view changes into pursuer's perspective. If you keep the right mouse button pressed now, you can freely change the direction of view with the mouse. In the pursuer's perspective,